He's been president and chief executive of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce for 18 years, and before that was chief of staff to Governor Ed King and served as secretary of the Commonwealth before that. So it's no wonder I feel like I've known Paul Guzzi my whole life. You probably do, too. Now he's stepping down from his role at the chamber and Paul Guzzi joins me. Welcome back to Greater Boston, Paul. Thank you, Melanie. And I'm just taking your lead. I like I, you started this. I know. We had this discussion on tennis court <laughs> we, about a year we ago. We did. We did. Yeah. So, I mean, you have seen, I don't even, I can't, we were trying to go back 18, I couldn't even do it because it's about when I started doing this yep. program as well. All the amazing growth and some of the terrible things that have happened in Boston. But I started looking at the big dig and thinking how that was such a, tremendous hassle for some businesses and communities and then an opportunity for others. How did you weigh and measure, you know, how that was going to go for uh, the North End and certain districts? Uh, I think it had uh, both sets of impacts. Local, there was clear disruption. Second, no excuse for the budget overruns, to be truthful. But third, I really do think it has connected the downtown with the waterfront area. And now we have the innovation district, which uh, marks a lot of what we are about mm -hmm. as a community. So I think like so many things, Emily, uh, once we look back, this has been a very mm -hmm. important connector and driver of economic growth. I always say the same thing. I'm very defensive, even though it was $18 <laughs> billion. Dollars, it was worth it to us and everybody else had to share the burden. Um, the DNC in 2004, these big conventions like the Olympics, if we ever right. did that, promise things. You know, it's going to be great for the economy. But there was a lot going on during that DNC in 04, 10 years ago already, where there were protests. And it was very, very much sort of relegated to that uh, fleet center, I think it was at the time. Did it ever promise? Did it deliver the way it promised? Uh, I think there were a lot of pluses. Uh, uh, Barack Obama thought it delivered because that really <laughs> was his entrance. Uh, onto That's the true. national Even though it was John scene. Kerry was the nominee. Uh, John Kerry was the nominee. Uh, I think the mayor was very proud uh, to show his city off. And the reason, in addition to the mayor, that it occurred, I happened to be part of uh, the small group that went to make the case. Ted Kennedy uh, made the case that Boston was very important. I still remember the meeting with Terry McAuliffe. Uh, and McAuliffe was having questions as to whether or not Boston could handle it. We handled it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, interesting, there were monies raised, uh, and there was actually some money left over at the end that was distributed to not-for-profit groups. Hmm. So you brought up the Innovation District, and I've been down there doing a lot of filming there recently. I, I talked to David D'Alessandro, who's kind of taking an even position on this, but is not negative or positive mm. towards the Olympics, just thinks everything is doable. What's, what's your take on that? I mean, there is area now, Suffolk Downs is available. There's yep. still a lot of developable parcels uh, in, in the, the Seaport District. What's your take on it? Uh, one, uh, it's one of those big ideas, and in our careers, We've seen other efforts that haven't gone nearly as far as this effort. Second, our new chamber chair, John Fish, mm. uh, is driving this, though we've divi uh, decided uh, a separation of church and state at this point. I think what we need ultimately is a cost-benefit analysis. Uh, what are the costs going to be? Where's that money come from? And what are the benefits for this region? And that part still hasn't been addressed. John is very confident, uh, but he's a confident person, uh, that we're going to be selected as the U.S. city, but then uh, 120 plus or minus uh, international delegates have to make a final decision. How do you respond to critics, Paul, over the years? I mean, you've, you're the Chamber of Commerce, the Greater Boston Chamber, so it's your obligation to boost business for the most part. But people have accused you of being, oh, you know, against the worker, <laughs> not, not on board with minimum wage increases, uh, not for getting rid of the non-compete clauses. How do you respond? Uh, one, you uh, have to do the best you can, uh, knowing that you never satisfy everybody. Two, we've never opposed an increase in the minimum wage. Uh, we have supported changes in the unemployment insurance 
system. We have the great ranking of uh, 49th in the country. So we did make changes this past year without ever opposing minimum wage. Third, uh, and uh, in looking back, I'm really still looking forward, uh, we've done a lot in talent development and uh, retention of talent in this region. And uh, I think that's a win-win. We import uh, uh, great talent here. We're uh, really heading a national coalition on another big idea um, who many people think will not go very far, immigration reform. That's something that I think is good for this area. I think it's good for the country. So that's why you, you say, hey, don't let people steal our talent. So. What, what's next for you? You're, you're still young. I mean, it's 18 years in one job is a lot. I appreciate. I understand that. You know, um, and I know you're going to stick around until they find somebody. Uh, yeah, and I feel strongly about that. Yeah. I want this to be uh, orderly. Uh, uh, on the personal side, uh, seeing more family and friends, mm -hmm. particularly uh, five grandchildren. Nice. Second, you will appreciate this. Uh, I'm going to work on my damn tennis I'll game. I'll help you out with that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Third, I have been involved in um, some uh, corporate boards, but haven't given the kind of time to the not-for-profit boards uh, that I might and do feel fairly strongly about. So uh, I am retiring, quote unquote, uh, as CEO of the chamber, uh, but I owe a lot to this community. And I still want the opportunity to give back to the community. All right, you'll have ample opportunity. Paul Guzzi, <laughs> pleasure to have you here. Good As luck. always, great to be here. All right.